still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? 
I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours, but don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Huh? Well, sadly, it's their job. <coughs> <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't worry. Well, I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place uh -huh. outside? It's what's got <coughs> And how long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are there on the station? Artyom! Stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. Is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my son alone. That's exactly why they go up there. They know we can't solve anything by hiding in our holes. The stores are running out. There's fewer of us and more of the mutants. And those keep getting larger, stronger, and smarter by the day. Sooner or later, they will crush us. Sure, there's nowhere else to go, but maybe something up there could help us. Into a storage unit of some kind. There's something that will save. Like a broken record. I don't know. Had the guys not made it to that time, there is any you need to do now. What could possibly have survived? Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave Move, us a scare, you, brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? I Art see you, me, gentlemen. Right. Give way. This calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Hello, how you are the you nurses in the hospital, guys, huh? You're just off crowding him. <sighs> Brother. Back, uh, uh, Previat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> so I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom! And? More of nothing? Artyom! The only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. Ah, <sighs> uh, yes. And there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? 
But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limits zone. Have you been to all these ruins? See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Had to scare a demon away. If it was getting too comfortable here. Look, maybe you should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go and turn to you. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, as they were out of the woods. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Stop. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that is all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that.
get out there. Should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole Metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back.
came, watchmen broke through. Oh, workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained when you open it. If anything comes through, shoot. Should send a group there to seal the exit. And pick up the remains. Attention! The turntable is switching on! Shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman! A human? How did you... Oh. oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her? All right. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance, too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. So you can use your head after all. Stay close <laughs> to the wall. Irmak, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me over me. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. She got me challenged. You should see it. What? Is it safe in here? I mean, in this area. Everything is under control. Don't sweat. Wait. You'll have to take him down. Can you do it quietly? What happened to the workers they sent to fix that fire? What's with that mumbling? It's none of your fucking business, that's what. Oh, I'm what just talking to myself. Ah, oh, you're mad. Time to fit that pine jacket, huh? Yeah. Wait. That light off. Let's go. Wait. Wait a moment. Wait. Great. Now throw it. Distracts him. Well done. Let's go. Come. Hey! Go through. Come on. Hey! Nobody here. 
This system supplies air for the command center. It's not that large, actually. Wait for the moment and go through. I will, of course, do it again, but uh, I, I'm not much of a fighter, as you could guess. Good luck to you. sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! All on the Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to the dagger and then go to the... I'll get you out of here. So I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Hey guys, Be careful. What's going on? Hey! Hey! I see the enemy. Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyom, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Oh, wait a 
him first, did they? A chopper brought them in and speak. Oh, yeah! Agent Egg reporting! Report your status. 
What the hell is this? <sighs> Gotta tell me. Group B, continue patrolling the courtyard to the generator room. Group A, check the wind turbine zone. Communications were lost there. Damn, how many guards do they have? They just had to attack now, these fuckers. Group D, redeploy to the generator room. What the hell? Uh, you can sneak ahead. No need to play heroes for a change. Let's wait till they walk off. Why can't we just stay still, Gearbox? We're on high alert. Civilians aren't allowed to just walk around now. Does that mean you're going to ready the train for me? What's the matter with you today? Why do you even want to do that now? Just stay close for now. We'll have to have a long talk later about breaking the rules. Group A, continue patrolling the courtyard of the generator room. Group B, check the wind turbine zone. Communication for lost there. Damn, how many guards do they have? Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the Tian. turntable mechanism on.
Let's do this together. Just a little... Engineer. Oh, what do you mean, shoot these two? Is Don't this you the dare give me the limp, soldier! Here. The Colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Anna! Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What the hell? Uh, Artur! What are you doing here? Talk about surprise! Colonel, this will mean court-martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't believe Shit! So this is true? You are working for them? The bastards shot our team! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line down. No shit, the watchers Sherlock. won't let them. No, I won't be quiet! What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, there are people so from other cities, dead, all of them, women, up. children! I'll tell you all later, everything. Gramps, what's going on out there, down this road? The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course, we have to make haste though, they called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to it's not my this call, and you know misunderstanding. Well, I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are with the us. The order leaves no one behind. Alright, Spartans! Throw these overboard and full steam ahead! Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch the mare. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Ah, finally! 
there is some good sense. Now, keep writing to a stop. Well, the grenades will barely scratch their pain, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it. Colonel, sir! I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do it. Why are you? Because he's starting to talk and he better do something about it. Leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract you in the meantime. Plastic explosion. Is that you, Yakov? Yes, no, cut the shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We were going to go far just out of town for a bit till the excitement quiets down. And you just opened fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to my trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me. Where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No. I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your masters. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you cutting, man? Defense plan? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement? Oh! Oh! You're not crippled. Class! Treason! We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life! To my people, my country! But I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! <laughs> Hold on! 
Now we are not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green. As if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Why their own face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air! And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, Maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station. Shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are a command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Here should go uh, like this. This is our goal! So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the 
best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. Do <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with you. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better! <laughs> Come on! How about Aurora? The Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Time, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Aurora! Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead. Hi. Full oh, steam ahead. Uh, we wow, that's ahead. some distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? You sure you're okay? Because I know you. Just so you know, scars attract the ladies. And there's definitely a lot of those up ahead. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters. Seems to me, whether it was intended or not, that our colonel now has a goal to strive for because of you. We all remember the way you fought back in D6, so no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. Yeah, it is kind of cramped in here. I'm thinking of making something of a workbench. So that's all the instruments we get, and everything else would be within arm's reach. With no workbench, you just lose small components. We'll use this place to work on the weapons. Cleaning, oiling, keep out of everybody's way, and keep them from messing with my stuff. And well, we'll have to take turns, of course, but we'll manage. So, if you find any weapons you'd like to keep, I'll store them for you here on the Aurora, and you can come back to exchange them. You'll get them back in their best shape ever, don't you doubt. Ah, boy, have I cleaned and oiled a lot of weapons in my life. Hmm, factory, and homemade too. Some of those were just amazing, so unusual. So, if you have any weapon-related questions, I'm your man. And weapons, they are like girls. They need attention. You clean your weapon well, you oil it, you check the ammo. Because these dirty ammo caps do get rusty sometimes. But if you put your heart into it, the weapon never fails. Ah, well. I'll just finish oiling this one, then start on another. Well, hello there, Tom. You people could have called me up there to 
drink to Aurora. I still think Bilzebub was a better name. <laughs> uh, by the way, did you come to trade places with me? Or did you just want some exercise? I heard that. Monotonous labor calms you. Well, it's no lie. I do feel this calm, you see. Idiot says it's dynamic meditation. That philosopher doesn't come here to meditate often. Well, help yourself. Because, frankly speaking, I'm a bit tired here. The only thing about this job is that you forget it's winter. Speeding along on this Eastern Express. They are not as lucky. 
Not at all. Who would do that? Hans's people? The ones that kept us under lock and key for 20 years? Or us too? Besides, getting the people out of Moscow is not the end of it. You have to settle them somewhere, provide food. No, I do get where you're coming from, but this matter is way more complex than it seems. I guess you're right. All this clean air went to my head. Rank does seem to suggest that. Besides, he led negotiations with Hansen. Where would we be without them after the D6 debacle? They gave us weapons and recruits to replenish our losses. We, on the other hand, our competence does not stretch beyond taking cozy thoughts and keeping the fools in the metro from killing each other off. Remember, if not us, then who? You are too smart for your own good, idiot. No masks needed, the railroad runs through the whole country. Hmm, <laughs> as far as we want, I reckon. As for Yamantau, it's about 2,000 clicks away. Now, how far do we get with the fuel we have? What's this machine's mileage? Aha, that! Uh, yeah, it certainly is a coal guzzler, this thing. But then again, there should be coal stores at every station. And, if we don't find any, we could still burn firewood. They got me to sign up by singing of my experience helping people. Told me about weather stations and muted migration observers. I was proud to be a boss. A couple of words. Then, about two months ago, they loaded a bunch of people. But what's done is done. Yes. Yes, I tried to talk you out. Yes, I didn't tell you you were not the only ones to survive. But even I didn't have the clearance. I'm not back then. This is a state secret, do you understand? I've been granted clearance only after a fight to protect the D6. They said they needed me to teach their recruits, because the war was still on. Don't you think I was shocked? What did our people in D6 die for? What did I lose my legs for? But I understood. Because the war was still on, security was paramount. Our people would have understood. So please, do the same. He would have spilled the beans to everyone in Metro. You're a goddamn Prometheus, a messiah. You must lead the people out of the caves. Do you think you would have saved anyone? Remember that jammer? What if Moscow has been found out because of you? What if there are missiles inbound? Anyways, no matter what they think of me, I know deserter and will never become one. I'm ready to bear full responsibility for everything. But if there is even the smallest chance to earn my pardon, I will take it. Which means that we, like a runner that trips, need to keep running ever faster just to keep balance. And don't dare you trip us all over again. Am I understood? I hope I am. Anyway, at least now we know where to run. So, go back inside and take a look at the map. Our route is pretty obvious now. A few days later, I was coming back from a run. Stopped the train, went and... found those people. Soon they understood I saw that ravine. Fed me the usual lies about the spies and whatnot. Did you believe them? Well, it sure seems safe.